or playing two or three unique Poros to actually level up Poro King. Braum is like 100% trash. Neela Samira. Hmm. So they're going to be pretty aggressive. And they're attacking on even, so the the Samira is a bit rough for me. I got to keep Windmore and Mariner just in case, but I don't like it. I'm going to pass. I, I really dislike playing early pool sharks. If the fleeting card you get is, is bad, like, it's just curtains for you. I've been around. Let's go again. That last game, I think I was, there was, uh, there was a misplay somewhere. I think where I could have that Neela turn where I just swung in rather than trying to set up the Howling Gale and like Formless Blade ahead of time. I maybe could have gotten a better attack. Whoa, they're actually just running wildfire. They didn't get this off of Father. I disagree with that. But it's fine by me. So I can Mariam refill spell mana. Got what I want. Now I and then I can play Master Lookout into Howling Gale. Yeah, no, Deep has always been kind of, you know, up and down, up and down. Of course, Coral Creatures gives them the sauce. Thought there was more. No, it's still Nautilus Maokai. It's literally the exact same deck. You need humbling. It's better to hold back the Master Lookout. It'll buy me more damage later. Full swing. Nice. Oh, got to get past me. Where do you stand? I'm gonna play pool shark. Now we're going into five mana. There's a chance that with if with Jana we'll be able to use the card that we get or Cloudwinder. Basically, now that we're in the mid game, any card we get that's fleeting off of pool shark we can actually use. Oh. Slipstream? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I can play Master Lookout. And Acorn. Now our celebration can truly begin. It might be better to play Acorn. No. I need cards though. Alright, that's better. That's a very that's a very tight decision point if I do say so myself. But you have to draw an, you have to draw a card there because I need like Mariner or something from this position. So we can attack with these. We can attack with these. Beautiful swing. We keep the Whirlwind. We've got that for next turn to kill Samira. We don't have an elusive blocker, but I think that we've got enough pressure where we don't need to block the guys. Crimson Banquet Hall. Oh, they've got the Neela Samira package, but they're going for... the uh, wildfire stuff. Just gonna whirlwind. They don't have Swindler's Den yet. And I'm dealing three, six, lethal next turn. What was that Ransom Riches? They must have got that off of Father Fury or something. Try to get another thing to block Brash. Yeah, man, these random one mana spells are too good. Okay, yeah, that just dies immediately to Crimson Banquet Hall. Cool. I'm not going to lie, Chad. I was worried this game. Ooh, that's exactly what I wanted.
Yeah, they they take six here, and then they die to blowback because I saved Mariam the care the caretaker for a potential cycle for whatever I drew. And of course they're just not wide enough. I've been forged in the fires of playing against Samira, let me tell you. So finding the right pocket to like actually hit the eradication. Udir? They're trying to go like ham with the uh, boar stance. Whirlwind's not going to be that good. I'm going to keep the double Vikrash and try to punch through with elusive damage. The Master Lookout, we hold. All right, let's get to work. You think this matchup is free? Generally, they just, their stats are too big. I think this matchup is not uh, as easy as you make it seem. I can Janna next turn, put these Divine Whirlwinds back, just keep developing elusive threats. We can even potentially draw a Slipstream and then put those back with Janna. Um, because I have the attack token, I'm trying to push some damage. If it was Voli, I agree, but Udyr doesn't have the speed or board control that Voli does. I guess that's fair. Press start. Just looking for a sign. I think this is our divine whirlwind angle, though. I think we've got to let this one go. We kill Balin and Udyr. Yeah, they're going to get the stance swap off, but I guess that's just going to have to be uh, what we what happens. Yeah, Slipstream's going to go bye-bye. Use the Slipstream? If I hit, like, double Windborn Mariner or something, it would be absolutely godlike, but nah. So I can Janna to just shuffle these two back in, but I'm going to go for Clockling because I have to push damage. I'd have to use Mariam to, to updraft Janna to draw a card, though, if I just wanted to go wide. I'm going to updraft the Mariner, play Mariam to have a chump. My opponent hasn't a Frostbite or Gentleman's Duel yet, so now we just have to start digging. My opponent didn't drop blocking Badger Bear or Gentleman's Duel or any Frostbites or Broadwing, so the Elusives have been uh, cooking really hard. We're going to updraft and draw one. Oh, wow. Do the kids still do surf back in Shurima? Wait, you? Oh, I love that for you. You could hold the 3-1, I think, to have two things to shuffle back with Janna. Which might have been the best line. Rethink your choices. Your wickedness shall not prosper. Not another step. I'm gonna take one more damage here just to play around Sky Splitter. No, we're gonna keep the 1-1 one, one up. Cause it's elusive. You think that they're gonna ram? We'll see if they we'll see if they're smart enough. Oh. Well, now they have Shaman's Call. Yeah, now they can ram. 
Triple ram. Actually. Damn. That's unfortunate. They're down to... Oh, they, they damaged themselves with the ram stance. So they might actually die to burn. I draw two cards next turn. Uh-oh. Ram stance hits everything. They died a mystic shot. Oh, formula? Whoo! There it is. Blowback. Damn. I, they drew really poorly. If I'm being honest, like no Broadwing and no blocking Badger Bear meant they, did, they just got eaten alive in the mid game. And if I held that Mariner so that I could shuffle it in with Janna, I get a um an extra card. So I misplayed a bit too. I feel your pain. Blow back. What mana should it be? I've seen some players say that the mana should just keep scaling with the damage. Every time you add an additional option to a player's uh, turn, you're actually adding two or three options because the decision of what, of whether to do the action at all or when to do that action in terms of sequencing it in between all of the actions you have available for that turn exponentially increases the ex the skill expression as well. And that's why for a long time Demacia was just a pile of Demacia, like nine Demacia cards and the rest of the region was bad. Because if when you have such a simplistic way to approach the game, if that simplistic way is not good, then you die. We lose to this really hard, don't we? Evelyn Shadow Isles? Hmm. I think so. Neela gets soul harvested. Mm-hmm. It's good to force the um, Soul Harvest, though, so that they don't get to play Siren Song. It's a great pass for me. I'm going to play Augmented Clockling. Uh, another Neela. I'm not going to take Neela. I'm going to save that for like a more late game win condition, I think. I'm going to take Mariam. And I've got to Howling Gale this thing. Overwhelm Husk. Ugh. I can't say I miss Husks, chat. Deathless Knight? Yo, okay, never mind. My opponent's cooking. Um, I can play Vikrash to tune one mana. Actually, it's better to Mariam to updraft to draw one. Because I get a better block and then I can still Howling Gale. I'm going to put Formula back. Lux was the only interesting Demacia card and to a lesser extent Fiora because she changed the way you play the game. Oh wait, it's Fearsome, right? I was, yeah, I wouldn't be able to block anyway to set up the uh, Howling Gale. That's fine though. Because I'll just play Vakrash. Wow, they got the combo. Yo, what's up, Remney? I guess I'll just play Augmented Clockling. Just try to push some damage. Formula. Let me see. Look at the follow from... 
Ma Matthew bro. Thank you and welcome to the Nighthood, Matthew bro. How about the party trick? I gotta say, this is like really, really cute that they that they hit this uh Deathless Knight Soul Cleave combo. I need to hit um I need to hit Eye of the Storm to not die here. Or Howling Whirlwind. Not Howling Whirlwind, uh, Divine Whirlwind. Damn, we whiffed all of that? Man, that sucks. Wow. Lux just kind of suffered from being in a region that was so boring she they couldn't uh, support her. Um, I'm gonna keep Mystic Shot versus Scion. We have to. We need Mystic Shot to fight against Risen Rider. That last game was crazy unfortunate, but they hit Deathless Knight double Soul Cleave, and I didn't have the uh, removal spell to kill it. I guess I should have refilled spell mana with Mariam. So I had the uh, double howling gale. Yeah, see, there's the risen rider. We've got mystic shot for that. Let us party most hearty. We do have to be careful because scion decks have a uh, burn top end. Hmm. Should I Howling Gale this instead of Mystic Shot? Next turn, I do want to play Janna. So if I Howling Gale now, I won't have Mystic Shot for next turn. Yeah, I'll Mystic Shot this now. And the reason for that is I want my opponent to develop, which gives me a chance to develop and stack up Howling Gale potentially. Pass. Just boom, baboon. Grave Physician. So no Risen Rider. So we're free to just develop here. I'm going to play Janna. We'll put the... Master Lookout's going to proc. We'll put the Augmented Clockling and Howling Gale back. You are not alone. I don't understand why they don't hotfix problematic cards. What's the, uh, what's the problematic card in your opinion, Unhinged? I think Warden is probably the thing that needs to be nerfed the most. But everything else is kind of feels like it's kind of vibing. You're gonna pull Janna? The open is being ran over by Warden. Oh, I bet. I bet. I'm not surprised. I'm gonna trade. Oh, so close. Twin Blade Revenant, spooky. Oh, come on. Slipstream. Give me give me my uh, cloud winder. Really? Wow. This is actually a really good curve though, because we get to play this and Neela and Lookout and Divine Whirlwind. So it's not too bad. And this like all counts towards Janna. I'm keeping, tr I'm losing track of what I just said, but. Oh, I didn't mean to play Neela. I, I should have played Master Lookout first. In case they have uh, aftershock or something. Oh, blowback! Jesus. Three man to deal five. Oh, blowback! Yeah. Oh, you mean a uh, howling gale? Yeah, howling gale is a bit rough. And because this is fleeting, we're just gonna do it like this. It's actually better to clear the uh, flame chomper. So I get a better block next turn, ironically. This deck, this deck is, is a little strong. I do agree with that for sure. Removing a 2-2, two -two, potentially Janna dying to Mystic Shot. I'm just going to, I'm going to keep Janna safe. The base damage on the card should be 1. 
Hitting five is a bit spooky. I'm not sure how I would nerf this stack. They're just going to do double uh, Twin Blade Revenant, it looks like. I'll play Tide Dancer. Oh. My Tempest shields us. Um, it's better to clear this one because this leaves their lost soul stranded. We take the same amount of damage either way. We go down to five. So we would actually die to burn if I don't uh, sacrifice this thing. Neil is not going to level. Hmm. Next turn we do 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We could level Neela, actually. So her damage going on to Twin Blade Revenant is fine. Being at seven versus five is uh, much better for us. Oh, beautiful. And then we do um, formula, eye of the storm. Draw a bunch of cards, open attack with Neela. And then um, Tide Dancer grants Brash to here, here, and here. And now we can slipstream for zero and we have fuel for blowback. Man, this deck is ridiculous. I love it so much. I'm not going to take the risk of just developing. I'm just going to I'm just going to attack because they've got another. Bra Actually. It's better to just attack. Because this is also if my opponent spends mana just on spells trying to stay alive, then they aren't developing threat, and I get a chance to just draw more burn and kill them. Yep. It's wild to me that Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic the Gathering and Battle Spirits are insanely fun cards, but digital games seem to print the most basic cards for years on end. I know, right? Especially in a digital client where a lot of the stuff is taken care of for you, you can print those that kind of stuff magic the gathering does have a digital uh okay so that's actually a really great topic mad wheels let me let me dig into that a little bit more